how to record a presentation in PowerPoint and upload it to YouTube. If you're wanting to record audio or video content for students to create materials for students, you have a lot of options available to you. Um, the reason I wanted to demonstrate how to do this with PowerPoint is that PowerPoint is a tool that you're likely already pretty familiar with. So you can use a, a tool that you're comfortable with and create some great content for your students. As you can probably tell from the bulleted lists, I'm using PowerPoint 2016 right now. I'm actually recording this video using PowerPoint 2016. I've got my microphone connected to my laptop and uh, when I'm done recording it, I'll save it and I'll upload it to my YouTube account. So I'm not going to show how to create a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to assume you already know how to do that and I'm not going to show how to uh, sign up for YouTube to create your YouTube account. I'm just going to show the steps for uploading um, the video into YouTube in an existing account. So to get started, you take an existing PowerPoint presentation, uh, open it up in PowerPoint, and then click on the Slideshow tab. And in the center of the Slideshow tab, there's the button that says Record Slideshow. Just go ahead and click on that button. And that opens up a little dialog box that um, gives you a few options. Um, that are checked by default so they're gonna um, it's gonna record the timings of the slide advancing through things it's gonna record the narrations and if I use the laser pointer and things like that it's gonna record that so if I go ahead and click the start recording button I'm all set to start to get going that starts my PowerPoint presentation and begins the recording so all I have to do then is advance through the slides and talk into the microphone there's a recording toolbar uh, that floats over the presentation that lets you um, pause the recording. It also has a handy redo button that lets you redo the slide that you're on. So if you mess up when you're on slide 10, you don't have to start over from the very beginning. You can just start right at the beginning of slide 10 again by hitting the little redo arrow. When you reach the end of your presentation, the recording will automatically stop and what you'll end up with is a PowerPoint with audio files associated with each individual slide. So the things you said as you talked about um, each slide uh, will be saved and associated with that slide. Um, and then all of the timings uh, of when you advance to the next slide, that will all be saved in the presentation as well. So, um, so if you just save that, you end up with a PowerPoint file, a PPTX file. Um, which you can view in PowerPoint and you could actually send to somebody and they could view it in PowerPoint. But the PowerPoint file with those record, all those recordings in it can get pretty large and, and uh, those can be kind of difficult to share if you're trying to like put it on a Blackboard site or share it with your students or, or whatever. Um, those can be kind of difficult to share. So um, what I want to show then is how to export that PowerPoint presentation with all the audio and timings to a video. So once you've finished recording the audio for your presentation, you can click on the file menu in PowerPoint and it will bring up the screen you see here. If you click on export, um, you can choose the option to create a video and then you can change settings to like change the how high of quality you want the video to be saved as and then you can go ahead and click the create, create Video button. That will bring up a Save As dialog box to let you choose where you want to save the file, what you want to name the file. Um, it'll be saved as an MP4 video file type. When you click Save, you'll see a progress bar appear at the bottom of the PowerPoint window. And it will take a little bit of time for PowerPoint to generate the video file. Um, that's just the one drawback of using this method of creating a video is that it takes PowerPoint about as much time to um, generate the video as it does for you to talk through your presentation. So if you talk for 10 minutes, it'll take 10 minutes for PowerPoint to generate the video. So after that finishes processing, your end result is your PowerPoint presentation that you did 
saved as an mp4 video saved on your computer. With the presentation saved as an mp4 file, it's very easy to upload it to YouTube and then be able to share it with your students. Um, so first you just want to sign into your YouTube account and then click on the upload icon and that will take you to this screen. Uh, you can click on the arrow in the center of the screen to have a open dialog box to browse and find the file or you can just drag and drop the file that was just created drag it right into that area of the screen right there and it will be uploaded and then as it's processing you'll see a little progress bar go across and you could um, give your video a title that you want to share um, you can fill in a description if you want to you can change the sharing settings so that if it's if you want to make it publicly available or if you want so only students who have the link to be able to access the the video you can change that setting and then when it finishes processing you'll end up with a link that you can share or you can embed it into uh, another page so your end results going to be um, a presentation much like the one you just watched just now uh, saved as a video in YouTube so you can j easily share it with your students.